Now to another city in Texas, Brownsville, Texas, after an SUV slammed into a crowd of people outside a homeless shelter that has been housing migrants. At least eight people there were killed and several more were injured as police say they were waiting at a bus stop. The terrifying moment of impact was caught on surveillance. We're not going to show that exact moment. It is simply too awful, but at the top of the screen, um, that we're going to show you in just a bit. You're going to see just how fast that SUV was traveling before it struck the group. CNN's Nick Valencia is joining us now from the scene. Nick, I understand that you have some new information that you've learned this morning. Tell us. That's right, Sarah. I just got off the phone with the Brownsville Police Department. They tell me at an upcoming press conference they expect to announce preliminary charges against the driver in that crash. They wouldn't share with me what those charges are, only to emphasize that they are preliminary and are subject to change based on their investigation. And according to the Brownsville Police Department, they're looking at this crash one of three ways. One, that it could have been, uh, the driver could have been impaired or intoxicated. Two, is that there could have been some malfunction. Or the third, uh, much more sinister, that this act could have been an intentional and that's what we're hearing this morning from my witnesses it was earlier this morning i spoke to cesar romero he was a venezuelan national that was just across the street and saw his friends get run over by this range rover he said there was no doubt in his mind this was intentional he described to me a very chaotic scene saying that the driver in his eyes appeared to be impaired got out of the car, started shouting obscenities at the group of migrants standing uh, at the bus stop, uh, shouting at them in Spanish. And he shared with me this exclusive video that you'll only see here on CNN. This video shows the moments, according to Romero, after the driver tried to run away from the accident scene. And you can see a group of men trying to restrain him, physically assaulting him. I uh, talked to the Brownsville Police Department about this video this morning. They were made aware of it also this morning, saying it's also part of their investigation and that they're looking at this with the district attorney to potentially bring charges against the men who are, are surrounding this driver, potentially bring assault charges. Uh, that has still not been decided just yet, but it is part of their investigation. All of this, of course, Sarah, occurring with just days left before Title 42 expires, that Trump-era COVID policy, which has so many people anxious here as it sunsets, what it could mean for the migration flow coming across the U.S.-Mexico border. Sarah? Thank you so much, Nick Valencia there, and with exclusive video showing the potential suspect in this case trying to be stopped by folks who were just there watching this happen. Kate? And as Nick mentioned, in just four days, Title 42 will expire. Now, this is the Trump-era policy that allowed certain migrants to be quickly turned away at the border that is set in during the pandemic. This also is meaning that the already overwhelmed border system along Mexico is likely to get even worse and very soon. At last check, roughly 7,000 encounters with migrants have been happening each day at the southern border. We want to show you some CNN drone video. As you can see this, this is from Ciudad Juarez in Mexico, you can see thousands more people camping out, waiting to cross over to the United States. CNN's Rosa Flores is in the border city of El Paso, Texas, where thousands of migrants, as we talked about last week, Rosa, thousands of migrants are already sleeping on the streets. What are you seeing there this morning? You know, Kate, since we last spoke, the scene has changed a little bit, but for public safety reasons. Take a look behind me. These barricades went up over the weekend. Now, these went up before the incident and the, the big tragedy in Brownsville, but it's for the very same reason. As you look around, you'll see there are hundreds of migrants just simply on this street. A last check, according to city officials here in the city of El Paso, more than 2,000 migrants were sleeping in the streets of El Paso. Now, what we have seen is simply more resources that are being brought out here to make sure that the individuals have a place to go to the bathroom. We've seen a lot of lines for food um, because they really have to be in line for everything out here. You'll also see more blankets to protect themselves from the shade. Now, about the flow, it's not stopping. The Border Patrol chief here from El Paso tweeting uh, dramatic images. Take a look at this video. Uh, these are individuals that have turned themselves into border authorities and they still need to be processed. And Kate, that's a clear indication that the flow is not stopping. And I can tell you, I've been talking to communities from Tijuana to Brownsville and all along the U.S. southern border. What I'm hearing is that they're all seeing an influx of migrants. Kate?
And Rose, so the Texas governor, he made an announcement this morning regarding the border. What is he saying? You know, he made an announcement regarding a tactical team that he says that he is deploying. He says up to 10,000 National Guard members and 1,200 Texas uh, DPS troopers. Now, he says that they're going to concentrate on hot spots like El Paso and the Rio Grande Valley. Take a listen. Right now, as we're speaking, the Texas National Guard is loading Black Hawk helicopters and C-130s deploying specially trained National Guard members for the Texas Tactical Border Force. They will be deployed to hot spots along the border to intercept, to repel, and to turn back migrants who are trying to enter Texas illegally. And Kate, just to clarify what the governor is saying there, these tackle, tactical teams, what they do, and we've seen this on the border, they deploy concertina wire, which changes the flow of the migration, but the migration, as you saw and as you see around me, is not stopping. Kate? Rosa, thank you so much.